So for my next project, I'm going to be building a UFO in my garage. What I've done is I've wrote down a few things on my little whiteboard here. So the max height at the moment, this is inside with me sat on C inside the UFO. Uh, what I'm going to do is make it a minimum of 1200. The other one is the maximum length. The other thing I was going to do is I'm going to build an octagon shaped UFO. I'm not going to do the traditional sort of like saucer shape. The reason is because I'm going to, I'm going to build this out of wood and to do it out of wood and to also have and also to create like the round saucer shape that's going to be a lot more difficult and also it's going to be harder to actually brace everything up. If I make it any bigger than 2.1 meters wide I won't be able to get it out of the garage. Now what I've done is this thing here, I've had to build like a uh, tower in the middle of the, of the octagon. Basically what this is going to do is allow me to actually fix my timbers to the top of the craft. These four legs will not be here when everything is complete. I've had to build this so that I've got something to put the timbers onto. Yeah, like, like that. So I can now cut in all of my timbers like that. And then once we're finished, once all the legs are up, I can then cut off that section there. So all I'm left with is the top of the craft yeah, this section here is going to have lights and everything in. This is going to be like the very top. I don't know how I'm going to finish it yet, but we'll, we'll decide that at a later time. So now, well, the next job is to, to cut all of my timbers so they lay on this section here. So uh, let's crack on and see how things go. So we've now got the first timber in place. So as you can see, what I've had to do is cut some angles on the timber for it to fit around the top section there. And I've done the same on the base as well. So I've just cut an angle. Yeah, so this is my first timber in. So this is gonna be stand in place now. So what we've got to do next is go round and just fit all the rest of the timbers. So, um, that it's going to support each of these timbers are going to support each other so that's going to be that's going to be fixed onto there so i'm going to do that all the way around and have one at the back here one there one there one there so i've got about another dozen to cut but once they're all fixed on and they're actually screwed onto this this piece of timber here yeah what i can then do is cut this off here yeah, underneath there, and in theory, it should stay up under its own weight, under its own support because of the way of cutting. All the timbers are now in. As you can see, we've got all of the structure complete. All of the timbers around the outside are now in, 
and all cut to suit. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. So this is gonna be the end of part one video. Uh, this has taken me about 15 hours so far to actually build uh, the craft from, from what you can see in front of you. So if you look around here, all I've done at the moment is just, I've just screwed one piece of ply on because I'm just trying a few different things out. Now what I'm gonna have to do <coughs> is ply all of the outside of the craft and then I'm going to cover it in a particular type of material. Uh, I won't go into too much detail at the moment about how I'm going to do that because that will be coming up in part two. But what I will do is, if we get in the actual craft, so as I said earlier in the video, I do fully intend to actually sit in the craft when it's complete. So at the moment, I've just got a few blankets down. So this acts as the height of the chair. So I'm gonna get a chair and this will all be coming up in future videos. You'll see exactly what I've done and how I've done it. I'm gonna have a special type of chair, which is gonna be futuristic and it's gonna look like, you know, it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be here and it's gonna be raised slightly off the floor. So these blankets uh, represent the gap between the floor and where I sit. So I'm gonna sit like that. Uh, so I'm gonna be in the craft. And this is what I was saying about the headroom has to be at least 1200 high, because otherwise I'm gonna to be too cramped when I sit inside. So this is why I had to double check and triple check all my measurements as I was building the outside of the structure. So I'm pretty happy with how it is at the moment. At the moment, I've got plenty of headroom, headroom, but when I come to board the inside, it's obviously going to seem a little bit smaller. Uh, but even then, um, I'm going to have plenty of space, even when I put the floor in, uh, because this may be raised slightly. I may put a couple of layers of ply down, a couple of, uh, I don't know yet, I'll, I'll have to decide that. But all of my electrical cables and wiring and everything will go through the floor then I'm gonna put ply on top and then board the inside of the craft, possibly with ply. I've not decided yet, but it's gonna look really futuristic inside. All of my electronics and everything will be on the walls. I've got plenty of headroom. The actual top of the craft will probably be around there. So as you can see, you know, plenty of space. Um, one of the other things that I was gonna do is have some type of section at the top of the craft with lights and stuff in, you know, to make it look a lot more futuristic and more like a, 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 like a UFO spacecraft type of thing. So this is where we are at the moment. I know it possibly doesn't look like much. This is literally just the foundation that I've built and the structure around the top. But this is gonna look really cool. The, the next video coming up, which is gonna be part two, uh, it's going to look a lot different. I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing the outside of the craft. I'll ply everything. I'm going to put all of the futuristic material on the craft, and also all of the insides will have lots of things done to it, electronics and stuff like that. So part two will be coming up um, as soon as I've as soon as I've reached that stage. So that is it for now. Part two will be coming up very soon so make sure you're subscribed and give us a thumbs up if you like the video as well i'll see you soon take care